know one thing yeah. on Tuesday, it'll either be the most beautiful election ever or completely rigged. I mean, that's the, 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 the only two ways he goes. That's right. But, but you know, <laughs> you, you were asked by Axios, you know, if you would accept the election results. And you said, if he won a free, fair, and honest election, of course we would accept it. Yeah. But that's what he says. Well, right, I copied <laughs> them. I said exactly what they said. But now, it's different. I told you so. Although, admittedly, anyone outside the Democrat fever bubble should have seen this coming. The reason Democrats and guys like Bill Maher refuse to admit that Democrats are the original election deniers is because, in their mind, it's not election denial when they claim cheating, try to overturn results, riot, then refuse to see the Republican as legitimate. It's something else, because it's different when they do it. Jamie Raskin proves the meme true once again, and Bill Maher finds out exactly why Democrats are never asked if they will accept election results if they lose. We will support a free and fair election. No, we're not going to allow them to steal it in the states or steal it at the Department of Justice or steal it with any other election official in the country. If it's a free and fair election, we will do what we've always okay. done. We will honor it. So, finally. Yeah. yeah. And that is the Democrats' history. <laughs> is the election denial is an attack on democracy crowd clapping at that. That sounds a lot like laying the groundwork to dispute the election results again. Seriously, isn't this exactly what Trump said when he was asked that question? Will you accept the results of this election? Absolutely. I assume it's going to be a fair election. If it's going to be a fair and free election, the answer is absolutely I will. Yeah. But it's different. You do not hate these people enough, or at least as much as they hate you. And lastly, as anybody who watches this channel knows, the Democrats have never accepted the results of an election they've lost since the year 2000. I actually did a video on the brief history of Democrat election denial, which you can find a link for in the description or pinned comment. They honor it. it that is the big difference between the parties, one of the big. Okay, so. And on that point, I'll tell you, the political scientists have told us the hallmark characteristics of a fascist political party. Number one, they don't accept the outcome of democratic elections that don't go their way. Yeah. I, right? I mean, Number I, two, I, they embrace political violence as an instrument for obtaining power. And three, they're not organized democratically, they're organized top down uh, as a cult of a personality around a charismatic or allegedly charismatic <laughs> figure, right? I, I mean, and that's, that's a fascist party. Sounds familiar. Am I completely out of my mind? Or is he describing the Democrat Party right now and exactly what they're doing? The top-down institutions are all captured by the Democrat Party, and they lied to the country for years about the decline of Joe Biden. Then they just removed him from the ticket and put Kamala Harris in his place, who up until a few months ago was widely hated. Now they tell us she's actually brilliant and competent and amazing and everyone loves her. Do you believe the vice president steps into that role and, and that the Democrats ultimately support her in that position? Or do you think we're talking about a completely different team? Once again, who's gonna step up? I can name you half a dozen people who would be better than her right now, but I'm talking to them and nobody wants to challenge her because nobody, okay. I'm going to be direct. Yep. God help me. You may we never have me on the show again. You don't even have to say it. We understand. Nobody wants to knock out an African-American woman right. and be held responsible for that. Right. And yeah. that is the truth. And that's something that maybe I shouldn't, maybe I'm going to be criticized when I walk off of here. But she's got such a strong position because of that. And here's the issue. Her favorability is still She's the most unpopular vice president since Dan Quayle. And three, they're not organized democratically. They're organized top down uh, as a cult of a personality around a charismatic or allegedly charismatic <laughs> figure, right? And, you know, our great president. Excuse me. What? Our great president? You mean the one that you kicked out and replaced with Kamala Harris? A person that everybody hated up till a couple months ago? Joe Biden, because he said there were semi-fascist currents running through the Republican Party, but I'm sorry, if the shoe semi-fits, you semi-wear it. So, <laughs> and that's what they've done. <laughs> Unreal. If we just apply that standard right back at him, if he looks, acts, and sounds like an authoritarian communist, then that's probably because he is. And let me tell you, Raskin and the Democrats are the only ones with the actual institutional power to carry that out. But 
what, what are you going to do? How are you going to get rid of gerrymandering? I mean, if, if you could, wouldn't you have done it by now? No, or the we passed college? it in the House. So we're stuck with another anti-democratic mechanism, which is the filibuster on the Senate side. So we got to deal with that, too. But I think that's what this campaign is about. I agree. <laughs> I won't hold my breath, but I agree. When we say we're defending democracy against the autocrats, the plutocrats, the theocrats, the dictators and the despots, it's a little bit deceptive because it implies that democracy is just a static collection of institutions and rules. Actually, democracy, as Lincoln knew, is an unfinished project. It's always in motion. Yeah. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. It is unreal. They talk about democracy, but prove that all they mean by that is permanent, unending Democrat control. They both just admitted right there that to them, democracy is keeping Democrats in power by getting rid of the only two remaining guardrails to their permanent control, the Electoral College and the filibuster. It is mind blowing how these people are everything they accuse their opponents of being. All right, folks, what do you all think? Let me know in the comments and if you're still here might as well hit that like button and subscribe i do post on a regular basis both short and long form so keep checking back for more thanks a lot <laughs>